his first test in the quarterfinals, young and powerful Bob Lutz, all matches best three out of five sets. Roosevelt takes the first set, 6-1. Lutz, the second set. Roswald, the third, also 6-3. Sides it. Lutz falters, and Roswald rolls over him 6-1 to move into the semis. Ash serves to Walker. A big ace. When Arthur's first serve is hot, nobody on the tour can touch him, because his whole game catches fire. Walker, who beat Ash handily in the finals of Chicago's Kemper International Tournament, never really gets into it. Shows only a few flashes of his customary brilliance. Ash wins it in three scintillating sets, 6-4, 6-1, 6-3. Cliff Drysdale's trademark, that devastating two-fisted backhand, wreaks havoc against Marty Reason. Catapults him in front two sets to zero. A lapse in concentration by Drysdale, and a spectacular turnaround takes place. Reason takes three sets running, really running, and assures his spot in the semifinals. Versus Newcomb. A hard-fought match, but not a long one. A single service break in each set settles it. But unluckily for John, all three of them go to Rod. takes this one straight, 6-4, 6 Arthur Ashe, Ken Rosewall. A packed house watches them battle for a place in the finals. has lost his magic touch. Rosewall wins the first two sets, 6-4, 6-3. But Ash surges back in the third. Out for a sportsmanlike gesture of appreciation for Rosewall's great try. Six games all, and they go into a 12 point tiebreaker. Can Ash turn it around this late in the day? No way. Rosewall takes seven straight points for his third, second straight World Championship of Tennis title. Will his opponent be Marty Reason? Or once again, Rod Labor. The way it starts out, the chance for history to repeat itself is strictly a long shot because reason is right on. the first two sets, 6-4, six, 6-4, four, six, four, just like Labor took Newcomb. And now he's drawing for three of a kind. But Labor has some aces up his sleeve. 
with that rematch against Rosewall and the only title yet to elude him as an incentive. He starts turning the tide. He destroys a tiring reason in the last three sets. 6-1, 6-2, 6 love. The big one between the big two, Labor and Rosewall. Since Ken won last year's championship in a four-set cliffhanger, Rod had concentrated his attention on turning the tables here. The ultimate test for both of them. whose ability and stamina have won them a permanent place among the unforgettable stars of all sports. Referee Tony Trabert spins the racket. Rosewall wins the serve. And then the first of 355 points, which will be bitterly fought for tooth, nail, and racket before this marathon epic is concluded. Game goes to labor, a service break. Couldn't be a worse start for Rotten. Here, in slow motion, the ballet-like beauty and grace of the sport is fully revealed. indication that he can crush his Aussie countrymen as easily as in their other two meetings this year. But it isn't that easy. Ken Serb gets in the groove to make it 4-1. In the next game, it's his advantage. Right now, he can break labor back. It doesn't work out that way. I have one edge. Though Ken loses this fiercely contested point, he takes the next one for a service break. 5-4 now. Ken is coming back strong and has his second service break opportunity. A magnificent lob, but Rod, always the aggressor, takes the offensive on what would be a defensive shot for most of us mortals. Turns back Ken here and goes on to take the first set 6-4. The golden incentive, this gleaming symbol, spurring them on to that last extra effort that is the pride of the champion. Labor wins the point, but this just isn't his set. Ken wins five straight games, and here in the sixth, as his fourth opportunity to break Rod's serve and whitewash him in the set. He does it, and the score seems unset. Incredibly, Labor reaches the ball. Add to Rosewall, really beginning to sweat this one out. 
Roswell leads 5-3 now. 40 love, and Labor fights to stay in it. How does he do it? That Labor wrist action is one of the marvels of the game, but it's still set point. sets to one. If he takes this set, he wins the match from Labor. Name's sake to get back in it. Changed my rackets after the third set, and uh, my serve seemed to come back a little bit better then. Uh, but sometimes it's better to serve badly against Ken than just to play what serve well against him. Serve fast, serve at him, he comes back faster. Rosewall three games, Labor two. Rod storms back to face Ken with a service break at 15.40. Well, that's one of the things that Rod does, where you feel you've got him in a match. For break, it's 5-4, his favorite. Rosewall leading 15 love. He moves in for the volley, only to be driven back by a great lob. But his equally great return pins Labor to the service line. Ken moves in again to make a crisp volley to keep Labor back. But then Rod takes the offensive, pulls Ken over and back with a down-the-line corker. A terrific lob, and a magnificent get from Rod, but he's too far out of position. Chess, played with rackets and split sec. Then Labor holds serve and leads 6-5. Rosewall fights to even it up at six games all and a chance to win it in the tiebreaker. Now it's 40-15. Ken wins the tiebreaker, it's all over. Seven points is all it takes with at least a two-point margin. The Rosewall touch. He leads too low. Two all. Three two labor, and he takes the next one. Four two labor. Five two now, and it goes down to the wire. Labor leading 6-3. One more point will give him the set. Labor wins it. This incredible match goes well over the three-hour mark. Get out to a fantastic finish. Can Rosewall's 37-year-old legs carry him through? It just doesn't seem possible. But he breaks Labor's serve in the second game and goes into the fourth with a 3-1 lead. 15-40. Break point. Rod's advantage now, but Ken takes the next two points to face him with another break. How long can he keep this up? Labor's ad. He must take this game. On the 17th point of this seesaw struggle, he gets the advantage. And now, Rosewall leads 3 1. 15.40. 30.40. Can the bone tired Rosewall pull this one out of the fire? No. Rod breaks serve, and now Rosewall leads 4-3. The match rolling past the three-and-a-half-hour mark. Labor wins.
wins a love game, and it's even at 4-4. Let's look at that incredible shot again. Labor hits a winner going away. Not too many players in the world can duplicate that one. Rosewall holds serve, and Labor has to follow suit just to stay alive. Fifteen all. I was hoping Rod would serve from a backhand there. Thought that I'd, I'd give that a bit of a shot. It's at a 30-40 match point. Labor's back is a... Rod survives the crisis to take the game. And in the crucial 12th game, Rob is still under the gun. He must hold serve. 30-15. Roswell takes the next point, and it's Labor's advantage. Now almost everyone in the vast crowd is rooting for him. It seems not only fitting, but absolutely essential that this match go down to a fifth set tiebreaker to cap its ever-mounting drama with a climax of almost unbearable suspense. Labor going strong. Rosewall down to the last precious ounce of his flagging energies. One apiece. Two one Labor. Three one Labor. And Rosewall looks like he's had it. Two labor. Four three labor. Five three labor. All he needs is a pair of big ones to polish Ken off. One. Five four labor. Five five. In the finale of the fifth set, unbelievably even. A blistering backhand return down the line. The shot heard round the tennis world, and now it's Ken who needs just one more. two points difference between these two tennis immortals after playing for three hours and 45 minutes. I'm just about out of breath. We're just about all out of time. I'm very happy about winning. I'm sorry that there can't be two winners too. Ken Rosewall, age 37, for the second consecutive year, the world champion of tennis. But the runner-up is a great and gallant competitor nobody can keep down. Rocket Rod is ready for the next one. Well, I always say third time lucky, so everybody better look out next year.